Hey, my name is Thomas and today I'm going to take you on a little road trip through southern France. Sunny southern France, I would want to say, but actually it's raining right now. We're in the village of Flyosk, close to the city of Draguignan, and behind me is a beautiful church. And on this trip I brought my analog camera, the Olympus OM-1 with uh, three lenses 28, 15, 135 and only black and white film Kodak T-Max. Let's have a go! So I brought three lenses, 28, the classic wide-angle f3.5, 50 f1.8 and the 135 f3.5 for the Olympus OM system. And those are also the three most common lenses you're gonna get for that camera. And why? Because everyone back in the 1970s would buy that three lens setup. You can do everything with that for any trip that you do. And they're also super compact and lightweight. And also I brought, uh, of course, an orange and a yellow filter. So actually my idea was I'm gonna shoot black and white because during daytime when it's really hot and bright, you don't wanna shoot color photos because the light is a bit too harsh, but for black and white with a harsh contrast, it would work perfectly. And then we had this sort of weather, but okay, I still hope that the yellow or orange filter will bring out the yellowish houses a little bit brighter, whereas the skies are maybe a little bit darker. I experimented a little bit with that and um, yeah. One of the reasons why I brought the Olympus is because this camera was serviced a year ago, everything working perfectly, uh, yeah. And what happened at the very first day, I took it out, we were at the Lac de Genève in Switzerland and uh, the light meter didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, I know Sunny 16 and I've got my iPhone to uh, do a light metering. That's not the big problem. Yet still, I could have taken my Nikons that I didn't test so thoroughly before because I've got a Nikon uh, FM just a week before the trip and there's my first film in it, but everything works perfectly. Okay, um, I bought a battery, didn't, still doesn't work. It works sometimes, but 90% of the time it's just dead. So now I'm here with a camera without light meter. Thanks to Sunny16, thanks to the iPhone, I still can take all my photos. But I really had to laugh when it happened because I remember there was another um, road trip YouTube uh, video. I think it was Max Schultz film or something. And he brought three cameras. And on the first episode of his trip, he also said, yeah, my light meter failed and I didn't have any spare batteries. <laughs> That's life. Okay, good morning. Today we are in the city of Colmar in northern, northeastern France in Elsass Lothring. And uh, today the light meter of my Olympus is working again and the sun is shining. So I'm gonna take some nice snapshots of this beautiful, beautiful old town of Colmar.
Actually, when you look around here, there are so many super shady places, so harsh contrasts of sun and shade, deep, deep shade. I'm really happy that the light meter works today because I should really practice my sunny 16 a bit more, but in really dark places or even in interiors, it just doesn't really work anymore. So sometimes the light meter is really, really helpful. Okay, we're back. It was a great trip, but as you saw, the filming on location didn't really work <laughs> as planned because the day that I reserved to do some filming for this episode, uh, there was a lot of rain, so we finally had to give in. Um, whatsoever, the results that I got are pretty good. Um, I just got five films. Let me think. One, two, three. No, four films. Three were 100 ISO Kodak T-Max and one was a 400 ISO Kodak T-Max and uh, they all look pretty good. Uh, in hindsight, a few of the exposures I got wrong, but okay, the light meter didn't work. So I had to either use Sunny 16 or the iPhone app. And there was this situation in Salern, in the village of Salern, where there was this old premise with an old car, abandoned car in front of it. I really, really liked that scene. I did use the iPhone. I compensated for using an orange filter, but whatever I did wrong, the exposures are pretty dark. Uh, I should have given maybe one f-stop more of exposure time or opened the aperture accordingly and uh, yeah, I hope I can get a good print from these uh, files. When you scan them of course you can push them in post but you cannot really push analog film very well. Uh, it's always better to overexpose uh, than to underexpose. So that's a lesson learned uh, even for me. I shouldn't be so uh, self-conscious in exposing and sometimes maybe do exposure bracketing or something. But apart from that, everything else worked out great. There is a short uh, slideshow in the end of the video. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. And um, what else can I say? The Olympus is now back at OM Labor in Frankfurt. These guys are highly, highly, highly recommended. They do a great, great job. And I already got two very informative emails about uh, possible sources of error. So this absolutely doesn't have to do anything with the original overhaul or CLA of the camera. It was just something else that's not connected to that. I mean, you can, you can CLA your camera. It's still 40 or 50 years old. It still can fail, right? That's the thing with the old uh, items and the old uh, gadgets. Okay, I hope you're gonna enjoy the slideshow. Uh, if you like this video, if you find it any uh, useful or interesting, then please leave a like. Also consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And also hit the small bell button so you get a notification whenever I upload my next video. And uh, the next video could be about this Nikon FM, for example. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching Tom's Cameras. Live long and prosper. Have a great time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.